Hello everyone. Thought I would do a quick video on shifting rabbit manure. See? Rabbit. Manure. Sifter. Wheelbarrow. Be right back. Okay. I have the sifter set up over top of the wheelbarrow. And then I take my pitchfork and pitchfork out some rabbit manure and throw it in there. I pitchforked some in there and hold on, I'll bring you some over here and show you. Yeah. Rocks. Chuck them out. I wanted you to see this. These are my composting buddies. I like these guys. Red Wigglers. They're all over in this pile. What I do is I have this little cake pan. Cake pan. Old cake pan. Just set it on the corner. And as I break it up, I pull out these beautiful fat worms. And I put them in there with just a little bit of compost so they don't... But, yep, that's what I do. I break it up. See how it breaks up real easy? It's nice and crumbly. You find little odd pieces of rock or uncomposted rabbit poo, but rabbit poo is good for the garden, so we'll just leave it there. Move it all down to one end. It's easier to work with that way. Make sure I don't miss any worms. I just break it up and gently rub it over my screen. Little pieces of sticks and stuff, I just throw them out. But I'll take some of this uncomposted stuff and put it in here with the worms so that they have something to hide under. The red worms don't like light. Just want to show you guys really quick exactly how prolific red worms are. Uh, I've already approximately uh, six partial pitchforks of rabbit manure and it's gotten enough for a next new batch of potting mix. But I wanted to show you this little cake tin. Remember I showed it to you earlier? So this is where I put my worms. You can see a few of them over here on the top. But what you can't see, because worms don't like light, they go down. This is approximately what I originally seeded my com my original compost pile with many years, a couple years ago. But I wanted you to see that. That is a mass of nothing but worms and these suckers are awesome when it comes to composting uh, Larry Hall has a whole bunch of videos on worms and there's quite a few other places uh, channels that I'm subscribed to that do composting but I just wanted to share this with you I thought it was interesting later Hello everybody, thought I'd give you a view of my new contraption, and yes, it is a contraption, and you're probably wondering what in the world is it. I've actually used it, and it works pretty good. It seems like it's a little slower than the other method, but it actually works out to be a little bit faster. This is my new compost sifter. I'll give you a real quick uh, look at how it works.
Got to be careful. Don't drop big clumps into your wheelbarrow. But I've got mine over the wheelbarrow. It's a little wobbly, yeah, but it works. That's what matters. And you take it and you turn it. Take another little tiny scoop because it can't hold too much. Them buckets that I use to make it are not that strong. idea is that your uncomposted stuff will come out the other end. Your big clumps will come out on that tray. Right, whoop, there it is, right there. And the composted stuff will fall in there. Pretty nifty. That is my El Cheapo homemade rotating composter pretty nifty I'll leave a link to the directions or the the instructions that I found on how to create this it uses paint rollers two by fours two inch PVC hardware cloth a bucket some duct tape and it actually also calls for uh, wire to sew it together along the seam as you can see I didn't do that I just used duct tape and it is kind of coming apart a little bit and it makes it a little bit of a challenge sometimes to rotate it but if you turn it in the opposite direction it tends to just jump right over that you can't put a whole lot in there like I said but just put it in there and turn it a few times You end up with compost pretty darn good if you ask me later